Hello students. Today we are going to learn about coordination in plant. First of all, what is the meaning of coordination? Coordination means ability of different part of the body to work together. Like how human beings movement कर सकते हैं. जब भी हम किसी hot object को touch करते हैं, तो suddenly वहाँ से हम अपना हाथ हटा लेते हैं. क्यों? क्योंकि हमारे muscles move कर सकते हैं, हमारा muscular system nervous system के साथ coordinate कर सकता है. क्या plant भी ऐसा reaction और movement करते हैं? Because in plant there is no nervous and muscular system is there. Then how do plants brings about their movement? Let's see some examples. This is a touch me not plant. Its botanical name is Mimosa pollica. When we touch leaves of this plant, its leaves fold inward. Here, touch is the stimuli for this response. When leaves are folded inward, its water content decreases. And when it opens up, its water content increases. Thus, leaves change their shape by increasing amount of water in it. And also, plants use electrochemical impulses for the transfer of information from one place to another place. So students, this is how movement takes place in mimosa plant. Now, let's see different types of movements in plant. Plants exhibits two types of movement. First one is the depend on growth and the second one is the independent of growth. Depend on growth, it is also known as the tropic movement. Let's see some types of tropic movement. So students, these are the different types of tropic movement. Like phototropic movement, chemotropic movement, gametotropic movement and thigotropic movement. All these movements promote growth of the plant. That is why it is known as the tropic movement. First tropic movement is the phototropic movement. The movement shown by plant toward the source of light is called phototropic movement. As you can see in the pic that the plant is bending toward the sunlight. Here a plant hormone called auxin which is synthesized at the tip of the shoot diffuses toward the side of the shoot which is not in sunlight. It promotes cell to grow longer. And some other plant hormones like gibberellin and cytokinin also promote cell growth. But abscisic acid is the hormone which inhibits cell growth leading to wilting of leaves. Now we will see next tropic movement that is chemotropic movement. Chemotropic movement is the movement of part of the plant in response to certain chemicals. For example, the movement of pollen tube toward the ovule is a type of chemotropic movement. Next tropic movement is the gametotropic movement. The root system of plant respond to certain stimuli like gravity and water which is known as the gametotropic movement or hydrotropic movement respectively. And now the last tropic movement is the thigmotropic movement. Thigmotropic movement is a growth directional movement and it is found in some tuning plant and tendrils. And plant biologists also found this movement in some flowering plants and fungi. So students, this is all about the tropic movement where growth is takes place. Now come to the next movement that is the independent of growth. And these movements are not related to growth of the plant. Now let's see some examples. First example of the growth independent movement is the peacher plant. Peacher plant is a carnivorous plant. Its modified leaves known as pitfall grafts. Its cavity is filled with digestive liquid. The plant attract and roam their prey with nectar. So students, this is how movement takes place in pitcher plant. And the pitcher plant is also known as nepenthes. Now let's see the next example that is lotus. Lotus is a flower which opens in the morning and blooms during the daytime because of sunlight and closes at night due to absence of sunlight. Thus, lotus shows its movement. Now, let's see the last example which is Venus flytrap. Venus flytrap is a carnivorous plant. It catches its prey by the terminal portion of its leaves. When an insect crawling along the leaves contacts a hair, then trap closes. This Venus flytrap get nutrition from the insects. So students, you saw different types of movements in plants.